Bronco Championship, our first in our 32nd year at Gable House in Torrance, California. He's the king. He was the challenger, and he won last week. So look at the looseness now for this king of the hill head-to-head -head matches compared to how they looked during the actual tournament, Nelson. Different dollars, Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. A little more at stake for Ron Williams than Mike Albee, but uh, anybody with, you, on the tour would like to get on that king of the hill and stay up there. Ron's been there. This is his second consecutive oh, week. Man. And the right-hander leaves the 10-pin. The confidence with which a right-hander, Ron Williams, attacked the left-hand lane in the kind of tentative way the left-handers have attacked this lane shows up. Now the key for Ron Williams is going to be the right-hand lane. Lane 60 has been the stopper for righties over the year in this championship pair. This is a winner-take-all match, $5,000. Mike Albee up now, his first shot in the King of the Hill match, winning $35,000 and uh, gaining his 21st championship. <laughs> the crowd tells the story. You bet. We've seen this split four times today. The 4, 6, 10. It seems like when you go through the middle here at the showboat, you pay the maximum penalty. All will just go for two, the 6 and 10. So it's a spare for Williams. An open in the first for Mike Albee. Let's set up these two players. Okay. Williams has the hot roll. He won the AC Delco, won the King of the Hill Challenge last week, and has bowled well in all three tournaments. Mike Albee, the highest percentage TV winner in the history of the PBA. He's a 625 percentage of all his championship matches and has never, ever lost a game on this pair in more than 14 years. Nine frames will tell another story. A 4-7 for Mike Albee, who is an ardent, avid baseball card collector. So is Ron Williams, of whom we're looking now. He's most prized, the 1955 Sandy Koufax rookie card. pins. That's the lead by Ron Williams by virtue of a spare and an open spare for Albee. Second frame for the resident of Texas. Harry. It's from East St. Louis, now Fort Worth. Ron Williams has a unique takeaway where he pushes the ball out to the right of his target. But the key in all bowling is to rewind, get that ball in that perfect position. He tucks it right next to that left leg and just goes right through the shot. Very steady with his footwork. He has the full grip on the ball. He tucks the pinky finger, and he could put Mike Albee behind by 21 pins with a strike. Hold it, baby. Four. Well, he's the first player we've seen come out today that hit around the pocket on both lanes. He's had a 10-pin strike, four pins. So. Williams at least has the pair zeroed in. All being looking away does not watch his opponent at all. Your ankle. King of the hell, Ron Williams. I'll be one of the few four-step deliveries out here on the PBA Tour, and he is really a stickler for his footwork and his shoes. He always keeps his shoes perfectly clean. And he's solid at the line. Four steps, very methodical, hits that line solid. Now Mike Colby is one of each, an open, a spare, and a strike. He is the Las Vegas winner. $35,000 if you just joined us going against the King of the Hill champion won it last week against Parker Bone 246 to 210 Ron Williams Jeez bad break partner 
Oh. Albi, who took Goodness. both of his re-racks. He, he gets two re-racks each game, and he has taken them through the four frames. And he likes the shot when it comes off his hand, but he surely doesn't like the result. The solid eight. Goodness. Just no deflection of that bowling ball going through the pins. Got that one, however. An ardent hockey fan, Mike Albi from Indianapolis. Back with more of the King of the Hill match following this. King of the Hill is Ron Williams. Carry. Yeah. According to Ron Williams, the current King of the Hill, he has a definite edge. Well, I feel I have a better advantage today because um, I'm bowling, I'm going to be bowling against the left hander in the King of the Hill, obviously. And uh, there, there's no other right handers on the TV show to uh, spread the oil around on the right side of the lane where I'll have a much better shot to the pocket uh, frame by frame. And, he, and he's proven that so far, Chris, as he's hit the pocket every oh. shot. Oh. It would have Come given on. him a 21 pin lead. That's what I say. <laughs> Well, he's been in the pocket, solid 10 in the first, strike in the second, four pin the third, strike in the fourth, solid 10 here in the fifth. He hasn't been able to put all of you away. Only 11 pins separate the two players through five frames. Well, he looks shaky, partner, on those spares, uh -huh. doesn't he? That competition you just saw, those slots, it's just outside the door to my right. Strange pin action for Albie there. He hits light and you think he'd get a strike and he almost leaves a 6-7 split. Head pin coming off the sideboards, chopping the 6 out and he's been left with the 7 pin. Next week to Grand Prairie, Texas, the Forum, Jeannie Halsey's Quaker State championship on at one o'clock eastern hugh miller will be going there he has won the title twice albie will be there ron williams will be there two thousand two hundred thousand dollar quaker state open i'll be in ten on that target I wonder if burt reynolds will be there he may be. He hasn't told me that he's canceled out. That's all I can tell you, partner. He may be. Ron Williams, the full grip, tucks that pinky. Both the players in the championship round using reactive resin bowling balls today. High risk, high reward balls. They carry well, but sometimes hard to hit the pocket. Yeah! Break. Wow. 